I'm local celebrity Miranda Witherbottom. You know, in these troubled times, when so much of theatre has gone dark, here's something to celebrate. The Butterpots players have announced their 48th consecutive season. Yes, join these talented thespians as they explore intense drama and hilarious comedy in such classics as these. A streetcar named Desire. Blanche? Blanche, honey? Stella? Oh, Stella, Stella, Stella for star. Blanche. Oh, my darling, let me look at you. But don't you look at me, Stella. No, no, I won't be seen in this merciless glare. I thought that you would never come back to this horrible place. Oh, what am I saying? I didn't mean to say that. I meant to be nice about it and say, oh, what a convenient location and such. <laughs> Oh, precious lamb, you haven't said a word to me. Well, you haven't given me a chance to, honey. Samuel Beckett's masterwork. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, I'm going. So am I. Was I long asleep? I don't know. Where shall we go? Not far. Oh, yes, let's, let's go far away from here. We can't. Why not? We have to come back tomorrow. What for? To wait for Godot. Oh, yes. The importance of being earnest. Dearest Gwendolyn, there is no reason why I should make a secret of it to you. Our little county newspaper is sure to chronicle the fact next week. Mr. Ernest Worthing and I are engaged to be married. <laughs> My darling Cecily, I think there must be some slight error. Mr. Ernest Worthing is engaged to me. The announcement will appear in the Morning Post on Saturday at the latest. I'm afraid you must be under some misconception. Ernest proposed to me exactly ten minutes ago. It is certainly very curious, for he asked me to be his wife yesterday afternoon at 5.30. If you would care to verify the incident, pray do so. I never travel without my diary. One should always have something sensational to read in the train and featuring Cruella Blackwell in the defining role of her career. My dear, what have you done with my sons? Stand there very quietly, Jason, and I'll let you look at your sons. Open the doors that he may see them. I knew it. I knew it before I saw it. I knew no wild beast would have done it. I did it because I loathe you more than I love them. So exciting. And now a special treat for us all. A visit from the artistic director of the Butter Pots Players, Frank Haymaker. Hi, Frank. Hi, Miranda. Such a thrilling season you have in store for us at a time when so many other theaters have closed their doors. Well, Miranda, the Butterpots players have been in business since 1972, and not one of them has ever aged. So it's highly unlikely that a pandemic will prevent them from treading the boards. <laughs> and I think it's safe to say, contrary to appearances, that not one of them will ever give a wooden performance. Isn't that right, Frank? <laughs> Where are you from originally, Miranda? Milwaukee. Interesting. Join us for a most exciting season. Operators are standing by. <laughs>